Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Andy with 12 Pell here today. Uh, we have my buddy Matt in the chair. Uh, we're going for a longer hairstyle today. It seems like he tends to get a scissor haircut all over. Um, right now he's gonna rock on the side part, but I have a feeling that he's gonna wanna change up a little bit. Um, but we definitely wanna keep definitely some length, give him some flow to it. Embrace that wavy texture of his. But uh, stay tuned. All right, Matt. So tell me, what's going on with you and your hair today, bro? So uh, I recently moved to New York, yeah. um, and usually, you know, when I get a haircut, I like to keep it long. You know, mm -hmm. as you can see, it's not super, you know, contained. It's pretty messy. Um, but I'm starting a job in finance, so I'm going back into the office more. So yeah, I yeah. need it, you know, cleaner, more manageable. But I still want to keep, you know, some of the lengths, some of the waves, some of that, you know, the natural uh, stuff that I got going on right now. Awesome. Okay. And did you have any like kind of inspiration in mind, or any certain direction you want to go with? Yeah, I mean, like like you said, like I'm rocking the side part right now, um, but I do kind of want to make it you know, a little more modern, switch it up a little bit, kind of like a like a Tom Holland vibe. I like it. Know? I like it. Yeah. Cool. So we're definitely keeping some length today for sure. Tom Holland, he rocks that long hairstyle, but um, definitely not as as a clean. It's not like a clean side part, but his part's definitely a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll move the part a little higher, give it some more balance to your hair. Um, what we're gonna do though with kind of like a Tom Holland inspired hairstyle. We're definitely gonna add some layers to your hair so we can create more movements, right? So it flows a little better to the back. Um, but we wanna keep it modern for you because you're, you're young and you just started finance. Yeah. Uh, we'll definitely clean up the sideburns uh, so it's not so bushy so fast. Yeah. We're definitely gonna take down this weight over here, right? Keep it a little bit tighter so it's not flying all over the place. And two, when we kind of get rid, when we get rid of that internal weight, um, we'll have a lot more volume naturally too, right? Okay. And, but in the back though, I think I'm gonna try to keep it as Tom Holland-ish as possible. So we want to keep at least back here some length, but we'll taper it up with some scissor work, um, so that way it sits a little bit better versus just kind of fluffing out like this. Yeah, sounds All good. Right? Okay, dude, let's do it. All right. So, to begin any scissor cut, you want to start off with some sectioning. We start off with a T section to isolate the back of the head, and from there we part the neckline with a triangle section to begin. We start at the neckline as our guideline since our client wants to recreate a more Tom Holland inspired style today. So, now that the neckline has been established, we're going to start with a vertical section down the middle and we're going to connect the crown to the neckline. So now that we've finished with our middle vertical guideline, we're gonna begin over directing. Our goal is to create a textured flow that meets at the middle and the back. So here you can see that I'm starting with the right side and I'm gonna over direct to the middle. That way we can keep the length on the right side and now the middle is the shortest. Here I'm moving on to connecting the sides to the back by using a diagonal graduation technique so that we can keep the top longer and the bottom shorter all around the head. You want to make sure you're pulling the hair 90 degrees straight out from the head. We want to avoid a 45 degree or 180 degree angle. That's either going to leave too much bulk on the top layer or too much bulk on the bottom layer. We continue this all around the head until we meet the back section at the corner of the head right behind the ears. Now I begin to move to the top, and to do so we want to isolate the bangs so we create a triangle section for that part and leave it for last. All we're doing here is continuing our 90 degree diagonal graduation cutting so that we can connect the top to the sides and the back. Once finished, we are now going to start our middle vertical guideline so that we connect the bangs to the rest of the head. So to wrap up the cut here, we're going to do a little bit of clipper over comb action on the sideburns to give Matt here some longevity out of his haircut.
So, Matt, that's the cut, brother. How do you feel? It's exactly what I was looking for. Perfect. Um, definitely more manageable than when I came in. Uh, cleaner, and I do like how we kept, you know, some of the waves, some of the yeah. shape that I had. So that's good. Yeah, I mean perfect. the flow is now directed towards the back, right? Yeah. So you want to you just pull the two sides back, let it kind of hit sit nice and natural. Mm -hmm. Like I said, a very natural back, but a little bit shorter than the rest of the head, so that way it doesn't grow back so bushy so fast. Sideburns nice and clean. That flow, kind of like Tom Holland, you know, bring it above the eyebrow, mm -hmm. kind of parted like that, nice and clean, but still. Like you said, manageable. Cool with that? Yeah, it's perfect. Sweet, brother, we're all set. Thanks. Thank you so much.